on 9th April 2023, latest Tiger Sensors data was released by Prime Minister marking completion of 50 years of Project Tiger scheme in India. According to this census, India's tiger population as of 2022 is 3167. India has more than 70% of global tiger population and the number of tiger is increasing at the rate of 6% per year. Prime Minister has also launched International Big Cat Alliance which will focus on protection of seven major cats of the world including tiger, lion, leopard, snow leopard, jaguar, puma and cheetah and it include membership of range of countries harboring all these species. In this video we are going to answer following question. Question number one. How population of tiger is counted in India? Question number two. Why Indian government launched project tiger scheme? And question number three. What steps are further required to strengthen tiger conservation in India? From dense jungle to Himalayas, tiger are elusive, hard to find and hard to count. How population of tiger is counted in the wild? So to analyze the success of conservation effort, National Tiger Conservation Authority in collaboration with the state forest departments and Wildlife Institute of India conduct tiger census once in every four years. The important method used in the tiger census are following. First, pug mark by ground survey. Second, capture, mark and recapture. Third, camera trap method. Fourth, tiger scat or dunk for genetic analysis. First method is pug mark. So, pug mark of tiger is analyzed through ground survey by forest staff. Every tiger has a unique and individual footprint just like human footprint that helps in tracking. These pug marks are later on traced and recorded to track a particular tiger in future. Forest staff enter the data of pug mark with accurate location in mobile software known as M-Stripes. This data serves as a very useful tool to calculate tigers present in entire country. Second method is capture, mark and recapture. In this method, a small number of tigers are first captured. Harmless mark is then placed on them and later they are released back into population. After capture and mark, tiger population is recaptured to analyze the population. Now in this case, if a small number of tigers are captured, they are marked and then recaptured. And further, after recapture, if the results are that more marked tigers are recaptured, this indicate that population overall of tiger is small. But if the result of recapture indicate that the number of marked tigers are very few after recapturing, then it indicates that the population of tiger is quite large. This method is then used statistically to estimate population based on the sample size. Third method which is used in counting tiger population is camera trap. In this method, cameras are placed in forest. Tiger possess unique stripes which are captured in camera photograph. These stripes help in identifying individuals. Next method is tiger scat for genetic analysis. Tiger scat and its DNA analysis is usually done when camera trap cannot be deployed. Scat or dung often contain tiger cells which can be processed to extract DNA or the genetic material. Genetic material of each tiger is unique and therefore serve as an important marker for tiger count. Next question is why Indian government launched project tiger scheme. So tiger is considered as an umbrella species which ensure proper and viable population of other wild animals in the forest. There was a time when entire Asia had nine subspecies of tiger, but three have already gone extinct. So at present there are six subspecies of tiger. First Bengal tiger, second Indochinese, Malaysian tiger, Sumatran tiger, South China tiger and Siberian tiger. Tigers are threatened by habitat loss as cities and farm areas expand into their territories. These big cats are also illegally poached for their skin and for making traditional medicines. Apart from ecological importance, tiger is considered as national animal of India. Government of India had conducted a tiger census in 1972. According to the census, India had only 1827 tigers left in the entire country in the year 1972. So to control 
hunting, smuggling and illegal trade in wildlife, India had enforced Wildlife Protection Act in the year 1972. Under this law, criminal prosecution and punishment was introduced if anyone was found guilty of hunting wild animals like tiger, leopard, elephant, etc. On 1st April 1973, Government of India launched ambitious Project Tiger scheme from Jim Corbett National Park, Uttarakhand after it had legislated Wildlife Protection Act in the year 1972. Project Tiger is the largest species conservation initiative in entire world. Today India has 53 tiger reserve as dedicated forest spaces for tiger conservation. Tiger population in the country which was on the brink of extinction when Project Tiger scheme was launched in 1973 now stands at 3167. Next question is what steps are further required to strengthen tiger conservation in India? So number one, protected areas or tiger reserves should be managed properly. There is need to reduce fire hazards in tiger area. Also invasive species or alien species like Lentana, Parthenium should be cleared from tiger spaces. Invasive species are harmful for natural forest as they inhibit growth of grasses, bamboos and other important trees. Third, there is need to combat poaching by strengthening governance in the forest. For this, skill building of forest staff and their training in intelligence gathering, use of arm, etc. is required. India is already part of global initiative for tiger conservation, including Global Tiger Initiative of World Bank and Global Tiger Forum. With international cooperation, tiger will definitely bounce back once again in high number.